that's because you, you aren't able to leave, leave work permanently for a year, and you're not senior enough within your organization to be able to say, I'm taking X number of days off to go to school, uh, don't bother contacting me. So I think the big challenge for those of you who are thinking of doing an executive MBA is this work, family, study pressure. And that's going to be the single biggest challenge, I think, in terms of organizing what you do if you decide to take an MBA. But I think beyond those basic reasons I've just given for why MBAs, the plain vanilla reasons, I think that what we try and do in our school is do three other things. Uh, the first is I think we're looking to uh, provide leadership to organizations that create wealth for society, not just individual wealth. Now, I, you know, I've, never, I've never agreed with the late and great Milton Friedman that you know, social responsibility is a sum of individual responsibilities. Uh, I believe that as organizations and as leaders of organizations, we have to think about the broader implications of wealth creation for our societies. And related to that, of course, is we want to set the ethical tone for the communities in which we live by the decisions that we make. So as leaders, we're not just looking to make decisions for within the organization. We're looking at decision making, which has this broader uh, community impact. And last of all, we're looking for innovators that can generate value for economies. Not necessarily wealth, but value. So the value of new ideas in improving uh, the living standards and quality of life of people in an economy. And what we see at the school is a win-win for our participants and society. We try and combine world-class business practices based upon an American accredited cur curriculum with an understanding, a profound awareness of the broader impact of business on society, politics and economics, because we are part of a bigger project the Central European University, whose goal is, its primordial goal is to foster an open society. So, uh, you know, on a couple of occasions in class, we've had discussions and the tired old boring, well, I can't be responsible socially because business is business argument is wheeled out by a dinosaur at the back of the room who's often checking their smartphone rather than listening to the discussion. And I often say to them, well, uh, what would happen if uh, a soldier walked into the room with a gun and shot you dead? Well, you couldn't say very much, but would your family say, that's not fair, and the soldier said, war is war. It's a, it's a bit of a meaningless concept. So we, we have to look at what we do as business people in the context of a broader societal goal, which is to improve the living standards and quality of life of our society. So what do we do? We offer these three degrees. Stuart went through them on, on the slide. I'll just say a few words. This 60 credit full-time MBA is a very international program. This year we, we have uh, participants from around 17 countries. So if you decide to do the full-time option, uh, there's going to be very, very strong cultural immersion. Uh, many of your ideas and preconditions about how the world works will be challenged and deliberately so. And that's what we're trying to achieve in uh, one of the main goals. The executive MBA, you're generally going to be in, in, a, in a classroom with more experienced people, uh, where discussions will certainly be focused quite heavily on specific corporate practices and corporate goals. But even, most, even though most of our participants are based in Hungary, uh, a number of our participants work for multinational companies, and so they can bring uh, a multinational perspective to the discussion. That's a 22-month, 48-credit program. And then we have our IMM modular program. How much does that cost now? $52,500. So uh, um, that's quite an expensive option. And really, um, I think almost all of our participants are industry sponsored. Is that correct? Yeah. Our, our team of uh, recruiters and admissions folks will, will be here uh, this evening to ask questions. And of course, they're available at any other stage. Uh, while I'm up the front here and rapidly wilting in terms of my energy levels, uh, are there any questions about our programs? Um, one thing I will add is just to reinforce what Stuart was saying about we're not believers in rote learning. We have very strict <coughs> rules on attendance. Um, 
I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a true story. I, I got an email from a, maybe my recruitment folks will get very upset at me at what I did here, but uh, I got an email from a potential participant who asked me how many classes can I miss? And I wrote back, you can't miss any classes, so don't bother applying to us. Right. And that's very much, our, very much our philosophy. We're not the cheapest program in the marketplace. So if you're looking to get an MBA at relatively low cost without much of a sort of involvement in the learning process, there are people in the market that will do that for you in this city, and you're welcome to apply. If you come here, you're going to pay more, but you'll pay more for a reason, because the quality of our education is much higher. Our professors are highly qualified, both academically and professionally, and I would say in my many years of working in many institutions around the world, I think I've, I've, I've never worked with such a group of dedicated people in terms of trying to ensure that the learning experience uh, is as good as it can be.